Welcome to Test Chamber, everyone. We are playing Lego City Undercover. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. I have Jeff Cork here with us. Hello. And Joe Juba. Yeah. Joe, who is a recent Lego fan, you you fell in love with the series with Lego Lord of the Rings, right? Or have you been playing them? I've been... I reviewed the first Lego Star Wars. That is not true. Joe is a recent Lego fan. But Jeff Cork and I, on yeah. the other hand, have Old loved school. this city or this series forever. Yeah. Not and like me. Well, you're a notorious child at heart, Joe Juba. Yeah, yeah. So I've been playing this at home a little. This is uh, the beginning of Act 2. Mm -hmm. Act 1 has a lot of tutorials, so it wouldn't have been that much fun to look at. Jeff, what do you think of this game? I think this game is really fun. Is there a place where people can go to read your full impressions? Oh, GameInformer.com. That's our (laughs) our website. Guys, watch this. It's hilarious. Aww. Aww. That's Chase. Chase McCain. He's He's the main character. And but wait. A, and she dies right there. No, she doesn't. The end. So who's who's the girl then? That's the love of his life. Yeah. You he's perpetually grumpy at him because he's just blowing it all the time. Well, because like she's in some sort of witness protection or something, right? Yeah, and he totally blew her ID. So <laughs> yeah, just one mishap after another. So this game basically uh, is kind of like the equivalent of maybe Traveler's Tales taking on Grand Theft Auto. You remember when it was first announced at E3? Uh, they what was it? it? Was Lego City Stories? Mm-hmm. Probably Rockstar polished off their team of lawyers and said maybe don't call it that. I'm assuming <laughs> yeah. that's what happened. So then uh, it was quietly changed to Lego City Undercover, which fits because Chase McCain is going deep undercover mm-hmm. to uh, infiltrate. The, the crime organization led by Rex Fury. And it's not just called Lego City because it's a city made of Legos. It's actually based on the city brand collection of Lego sets, right? That's true. Yeah. yeah you'll, there's like, you'll uh, see some of the modular buildings as you're cruising around town. Uh, a lot of the vehicles will be familiar if you're a Lego fan. Um, yeah, they do a great job of incorporating a lot of the real stuff in there. And unlike a lot of the past Traveler's Tales games, this one isn't based on and existing like movie license or characters they're just using the straight up town brand which mm-hmm. is great are and there load times in this game uh yeah there's there's <laughs> quite a few and they're they're quite extensive as you can see here um good for story time or if you're working out at home mm-hmm. 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 exercising uh nap you could probably get in a, a quick minute nap i like looking at spinning shields so that didn't that wasn't a deal breaker for me so oh, what you don't yeah, know yeah, is cool uh Chase isn't just talking to himself here. He's actually talking to Ellie, who is on the Wii Pad right now. Yes. Uh, The Wii Pad is used extensively throughout this game for mission briefings and uh, for the map Mm -hmm. and even some some gameplay stuff where you're using the AR to uh, find criminals and, and do cool things as a police officer. There's like like uh, one of the things you have to do is like zoom around a. Uh, an area to see where the criminals are and you'll like listen in on uh, like voice clips you know like conversations and then you have to they're kind of silly and stuff and you'll you'll kind of uh, surveil the bad guys and then you know mm-hmm. track them down uh, Reiner just passed something that's important I we should go back and take a look at that quick the uh, the that's super bu- the super build site uh, uh, the, 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 rotate the camera a little bit yeah that thing. yep uh, so Jeff what are those those, that's a super build site, Joe Juba. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look in the upper right-hand side, you'll notice that they're, in addition to the studs uh, that uh, usually you know are kind of like the in-game currency that you use for like unlocking characters and, and additional that. extras, um, mm-hmm. you have this other currency, which you can't see now, but uh, they're kind of like the... Um, you use those to, for, to build the, the, for the super builds, and those are like um, a garage maybe in the middle of nowhere to... Uh, access your uh, your cars or mm-hmm. a bridge that maybe is related to a story mission you know you need to cross it and they hear you're doing a little story mission thing here mm-hmm. but I'm building they're kind of a valuable commodity so um, you're not gonna want to just run around and as soon as you see a super build unlock it you know what I mean you're gonna want to save that for kind of your new game plus or yeah or because if nothing campaign. else you may want to save the, the the bricks that you have to build the you ones that you it. need in the story mm-hmm. versus a, b- a bunch of nice random ones. See, that made but me so happy because I, I grew up with Lego and the uh, the Octane 
station. Yep. That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> just, see, there's a super brick. We were just talking about you. Oh, this is absolutely perfect timing. It's almost like we planned this. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Serendipity. So this is kind of, that logo is kind of like if Pepsi ever like started drilling for oil, right? Mm -hmm. If Pepsi just started carbonating oil and selling it. <laughs> That's, so that's what you get. So Diet Pepsi, you know. If words. you played Lord of the Rings, uh, Aragorn or Strider or whatever the hell his name is, he had this kind of detective mode. Mm -hmm. Chase has it as well. I'm looking for a secret here. Another important thing to note about the the gamepad too is that uh, in addition to like briefings and stuff, it just you sometimes have just funny like conversations with secondary characters on there too, like good old Frank Honey. Mm -hmm. Frank Honey is fantastic. He's a supporting character. Uh, you see him early on. He's kind of uh, absolute dimwit. Oh, he's uh, amazing. Yeah, he's really one of my favorite characters. <laughs> What's the thing time. about the, the the horse? There's something about about him riding a horse. Oh backwards. yeah, at one point they get on horses and uh, he mounts the horse backward, Whoa, and then he's like, "The horse is going." The horse has really funny looking head. <laughs> like, now you're on the horse backwards. You're like, oh. That's why he didn't like it when I tried to feed him that apple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty goofy. Um, I really liked it though because uh, you know, since it's not based on an existing story, you know, they could kind of come up with their own characters and go way out. And like you mm -hmm. know, with like Lego Batman, they were able to tell their own sta their own stories, but they were kind of constrained to a certain degree by characters. You know what I mean? Like yeah, Batman yeah. is always going to be Batman to a certain degree, and Robin likewise. Mm -hmm. So I'm calling in a car here right now. Yeah. You'll have to imagine yeah, at home I'm that you're gonna... looking at the Wii U gamepad. Yeah, well, we have to figure out a solution for that at some point. Maybe a camera. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I um, I picked the color of it. There's a bunch of different colors for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ellie's telling me there's another crime in progress right now. Ooh. The audio coming out of the gamepad is pretty nice. Yeah, Joe, you can absolutely mess people up. If no, you no, that's, that's not what I'm excited about. What I you love about I this and what I actually right. wish they had in more open world games is the ability to jump from one stolen vehicle directly into another stolen oh, yeah. vehicle. Yeah. So you can just, like, if, if you crash into a van, it'll show you, or like that car buildings. or whatever. Which is why we it'll, uh, them, right? You can just jump from one to the other so you don't need to worry about, oh, like, I'm yeah, getting right. out first. See, and you're making a critical error, Reiner. You're not smashing through every light post. Oh, yeah. there. That's just something Jeff showed me is you just <laughs> want to sit on the side of the road. Oh, yeah. You want to yeah run over because everything you possibly can. everything you run over, you get you get uh, studs for. And you actually build up, so you're building up a combo meter. So oh, I didn't why do you drive the on the road? Meter. Unless you have to, like I am here. Yeah. But, yeah, you always just want to kind of hang out over here, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah. That's what a police officer does. <laughs> That's one of the things I like about this is like it uh, TT Fusion, they knew like one of the big things about the series and just the brand is it's about like breaking stuff as much as it is building stuff. And mm -hmm. in an open world game all too often you have some destructible elements but not not enough, I never feel, you know. Mm -hmm. And this is great because you just have you do have trees that you'll occasionally come to a dead stop when you hit them, but for the most part you can drive downtown on the sidewalk and not have to worry about you know, oh no, this tiny sapling has this totally yeah. stopped me in my tracks. Hey and Jeff, now, have you talked about the two currencies yet? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um and now like we're not we're not dealing with something that's the size of like Liberty City in, no. in GTA, but it is it does it is seem big. kind of cool that like, you know, you've got a little forested area mm -hmm. out here, you've got like, you know, I, I assume they do a decent job of sort of in, in the space they have, varying up the environments and stuff. Yeah, there's like a Cape Canaveral area, and uh, I like Here's this your guy. first look at a Lego squirrel. Uh, We've never seen one of those before. I think Ellie told you I was kind of gruesome. Yeah, and it looks sort of Jeez, demonic. Nice to meet you, Chase. Do cockleberries in there. <laughs> I know all about you. I hope they make Lego sets of all these guys. Oh yeah. Made a mistake. Yeah, they, I mean, like they do have the uh, off, sure like the, the set with Chase McCain, but they don't have a Frank Honey set, hmm. to my knowledge, which that's a big hole yeah, that well, needs to be filled with mistakes. an apple. Yes. What is it with video games and captions? 
Why are captions always like in different spots, different fonts, different sizes, whereas movies, they always do it kind of the same, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is like way up on the screen. Sure do. You're welcome to useless So, hey, Jeff, tell us a little bit about why it's called Lego City Undercover. Because you're a detective? Do you get disguises or anything? Tell us about the disguises. Okay. I was like, I don't follow you. This is like, you're being. Just tell me what you want to hear. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Chase McCain gets sure. a bunch of different disguises. So unlike past games, you had multiple characters that kind of had uh, special attributes tied to them. This is more along the lines of like a Lego Batman, where Batman was Batman, but he had different suits that kind of imbued him with different powers. So here, Chase McCain, right now he's wearing his detective or uh, police outfit. Um, what else do you have there? Your civilian clothes. You also unlock as you play through the game. You get um, a farmer outfit. You get a like yeah, classic space outfit, mm -hmm. um, and this this the basically problem. takes the place of in previous Lego games where you like had to switch characters with different abilities and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much Chase McCain is just an all in one character that you just exactly he just changes his clothes. Yeah, and because the this then is a I single player game too, which is which in, critically in, right? important too. Because in past games, you know, co op's always been a focus of <laughs> the. Uh, Traveler's Tales uh, Lego games, and this one is strictly single player. That's disappointing to me. Yeah, I, I guess I could I could take it or leave it. You know what I mean? I, I feel as though I've got enough of the Lego games that I could play cooperatively. Yeah, you know, and I like the idea I, that the gamepad is dedicated to serving as like a device that's kind of within the game. It's not just like hey, hey player two can look on this screen. You know? Yeah, and I, at the same time for me though, like when, whenever I talk to whenever I talk to like gamers with kids a lot of times they're like hey i love playing the lego games co-op with you know with mm -hmm. my kids i mean you do that with your kids right yeah Jeff? yeah for sure so like it just seems that you know like for the first big lego game the the wii u exclusive lego game to not really have that option seems a little you know it just mm -hmm. seems a little bit strange to me but yeah. it doesn't necessarily make the game worse it's just like yeah you know a lot of people a lot of people who may expect to pick up a lego game and be mm -hmm. able to play co-op really need to know that like you don't that's just not possible with it yeah I'd be curious if it's, you know, as much because, like, Chase McCain, he uses his little, uh, like, the gamepad, like I said, as part of his detectiving. Mm -hmm. But also, the city is, you know, pretty large for the hub world. I wonder if it was just technical constraints, you know, if that was, if, you know, a player starts a mission, if that just breaks up the flow yeah. too much. Yeah. I don't know. Regardless, it's single player. Right. And uh, a couple things. The vehicles don't control the best, but once you get the hang of them, you kind of get the hang of them. Uh, you can see I can jump there. That's just by moving the, the Wii U gamepad up. <laughs> that serves absolutely no purpose. <laughs> Except but, maybe to avoid some studs that you were about yeah, to collect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe huh. I can jump over an old lady on the side here. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. So you can been, see the world. This is a good look at the world here. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awesome. Oh yeah. So do the vehicles um, feel different? Like when it, when the yes. the little bit of time that I spent with the game, it sort of felt like they all felt very similar to me that I just jumped in randomly. But they they have distinct sort of controls. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Like for instance, uh, they've released screenshots of this. So I don't feel too bad about it. There is at one point a robotic T Rex that you drive, <laughs> and that's a little different from like a compact car. Nice. I want a robotic T Rex. Up. Oh. Use your A button, dummy. Why you You're in the it? wrong outfit. You oh, put that's in your right. Cop. Okay. Da da da. Da da da. Yep. And now, when people think of like an open world game, they think of like side quests and stuff. Mm -hmm. Are, are there, like, side missions that you go on, or is it mainly just, like, collecting stuff? Is uh, collecting, mission? I think, is probably the biggest substitute for side quests. There are, like, like races that you unlock and some, uh, like, parkour challenges, which, frankly, I, I did them as minimally as I could because <laughs> I think, like, the platforming, as I mentioned in the review, has always been one of the weakest areas in these games, and when you're on a timer chasing after a guy who's, like, Sticking his tongue out at you. It's, 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 just, <laughs> it's even more frustrating. Yeah, so. yeah. Guys, I don't want to diminish this moment. This is the first time I've ever gone into a hamburger in my life. So, What? Here we go. Really? Yeah. Did you never go to like McDonald's play sets and stuff? Like, 
I've never been in a hamburger. Oh man, there you it was go. Like a prison. I remember. Right. No, my the McDonald's back buy. in my hometown had a Mayor McCheese that you would like climb up into yeah. and play around in. Chip your teeth on him. Now so Reiner <laughs> is doing the classic Wii U moving around the room thing. You can't see it, but just imagine like handing your grandfather a camera. <laughs> and you're in a dark room telling, over here, over here. He's doing, yeah, he's looking all over the place. Okay, I figured it out. They're way up on top of the skyscraper. That was kind of cool, actually. I actually like that functionality. Um, yeah, it's certainly gimmicky, but I enjoyed it. Well, yeah, and not in a way that detracts, like, no. It's not like you're doing it so often that it gets annoying. No, I, I, I think, like, that, like it or not, is going to replace the Wii Waggle. But fortunately, I think that it is handled with greater precision, so mm -hmm. it's not like the same frustrating experience. Yeah. Here he goes. Should there we try go. to get up here and see if I can Do if it. I can make it? Uh, oh, Lego platforming. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and eventually he'll he can do like some flips on poles and all that kind of stuff. Which <laughs> there you go. And in I go. And we have a load here, and again, this one's not too bad. This one looks like it'll be about 15 to 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. But uh, the initial load is huge. Yep. And then um, after cutscenes, usually you get a big load too. Mm -hmm. So what's new with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> So, are you enjoying it though, Reiner? Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is one of those series that they, they keep getting better, it seems like. Mm -hmm. um, and Lord of the Rings was absolutely incredible. That was in my top 10 last year. Yeah, yeah I, love that I really yeah. love that game. And uh, I'd say this one's a, a little bit of a step back just in terms of uh, the gameplay and just how immediate it is getting to action. It's a little slower paced. Um, but. I can't wait to just kind of dive into this huge world and really yeah. see all it offers. Like you saw, I got one gold uh, brick mm -hmm. out of 450. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And I, th I think being separated from a pre-existing license really has freed them up in just terms of their ability to like, like really unleash the sort of humor and the funny characters and stuff oh, yeah. that they can do. Absolutely. Um, what, what did you ultimately end up giving this for a score, Jeff? 8.5 out of 10. All right. Yeah. I think one of the things that kind of bummed me out as I wish that there was more to do in the cities you know I mean the collecting aspect of it is something that we have seen throughout the throughout all the games in in the uh, in the Lego series rather <laughs> sorry I was distracted um, so I mean I didn't feel like having more of them necessarily added anything I would like to have seen some more things other than races yeah in that kind of stuff but yeah, it seems pretty cool. Well, thanks, Jeff, for giving us your expert opinion. Oh, boy. Thank you. And uh, Joe for having some knowledge of McDonald's Playlands. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to check that out. And uh, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time on Test Chamber.